Gentlemen, we have Lucifer versus Marcel. Marcel, the king of the non-subs, the biggest non-sub ever seen in this channel, representing all the non-subs. Gentlemen, let's take a little look at our next game here. This summer, experience the true British colonialism. Oh, look at the natives go, not a single chance. Experience industrial revolution like never before. Factory building, using child labor. Child labor. Get ready for new bloody and pointless revolutions. Oh, you are sick from looking at this flag. Now prepare to get sicker in real time. You will be bored to death. This game will take your virginity away for ever exclamation point introducing victor train game you will never be able to understand tommy I've run some more tests, Mr. Davis, and I think I've diagnosed your condition. It seems that whenever you see an encirclement, your nervous system gets overexcited and simply shuts down. So you're saying I can never see an encirclement again? Well, in theory, a large electrical shock could stabilize you, but that would be highly dangerous. So what'd the doctor say? Money. Oh, money. Oh, money. Shit, okay. I think like there's a 50-50 between me and Lucifer because like we haven't played each other but I've seen him play obviously. I wouldn't let my guard down, that's for sure. Like never underestimate anyone. But I prefer to be on the aggressive side. I play very like defensively, reactively. Everybody else plays very aggressively. You know, it tests your attention, it tests your position. Like only clicking fast will, in my opinion, not be enough to win this turn. Lucifer versus Marcel. Lucifer, the pride of Serbia, Marcel, the pride of Abdulaziz. I've been changing that since I got into the tournament. Top pay, turning money. People take me a lot more seriously now. And we are gonna see how good Marcel really is just in this game here, man. In my opinion, that would be the deciding factor in the game. Like, who can stay calm and collected and play solid, and the guy, the side who loses its nerves will most definitely lose. So, they both play in different styles. Marcel is very quick, just like Risha, they play kind of similar. And Lucifer plays a bit like 7D, although he's not as quick, he doesn't have as map overview like 7D. A lot about this 1v1 is feeling out how your opponent feels. Once you get a feel for how someone plays, you can like kind of exploit their weaknesses. I do have a tendency to play worse at the beginning of the game, because like nerves, anxiety, all of that. I know that if I get Germany and force and third round, I will beat him. Jesus, man, this is some high production value over here. God damn it, gentlemen, we are back after the set break. The players have been invited. Gentlemen, let me prepare our next guest. A dear friend, a truly a dear friend. A guy that I love, man. Dude, every single co-cast today, I love these guys. I, I'm not even kidding, I love these guys. I love these guys. Gentlemen, Say hello to a dear friend, a man I truly love. Say hello. Wait a sec, one. <laughs> Say hello to Morgan Freeman. Say hello to Alex, the motherfucking Rambler boy. How are you doing, boy? Good, thank you. How are you? 
Oh, man. Everybody looks so good today, and I look like a raccoon. Yeah, I thought I'd slap on my suit for a special occasion. Yeah, that's a good suit. When was the last yeah, time you nice. wore the suit for like a, a real life occasion? Uh, the last time I wore this was uh, last year for my anniversary. Yeah, got it special. Yeah. So this has only been worn twice, and, and this is the third time they've been wearing it. So yeah, I thought, I thought I'd, I thought I'd uh, dress up for this special occasion. Alex, it's so nice to see you. I swear to God, man. Welcome to the Warfront International. You and me are gonna have the privilege of casting again on the free between Lucifer and Marcel. My friend, uh, have you been watching in the last uh, hours? Hours, yeah. I have been. The quality of the gameplay and the contestants here is absolutely insane. Uh, and if I could just say, like, I know I've had my problems with Hearts of Iron multiplayer in the past. I've sworn it off completely. And when you said that you were organizing a tournament, I didn't think there would be enough of a market here. But you, I have never been more happy to be proven so wrong in all of my life. The, get, get the effort that your entire team and yourself have put into this is astounding. And I think that You've all done a fantastic job. And if you do decide to do a second tournament, I would love to sponsor it. Jesus, so. man, you're going to make me cry here. Uh, all glory to the guys behind the scene, guys. Uh, we're going to talk about them later. These guys have done unbelievable jobs. But uh, the co-casters also, it's great that they have time for us, man. It's, it, it, it means a lot. Uh, my friend Alex, what do you think? If you were in this tournament... What would oh, be gosh. your approach to winning games? What do you think? Would you be aggressive, defensive, reactive to your enemy, spearhead? What do you think would be your approach to, to being the boss in this tournament? I usually play uh, very turtly. I'm always a very defensive-minded player. Uh, I'm usually the shield that goes up against the spear. And that's what the game <laughs> is today. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this. We've got a defensive player and a hyper-aggressive player. So seeing how they fight against each other, I'm looking forward to. Well, my gent, uh, my boys, Alex Ramblos with us. We're switching scenes real quick, for we are going to the coin flip. Alex, I will leave the call for a second because I talked to the guys for a second, and then I'm back. Um, we're joining the Discord, and there we are. Test at one three. Marcel, are you here? Yeah, hello. How are you doing, brother? Uh, Lucifer, are you here? Lucifer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here, here. He's a bit shy, guys. Um, I got messages that I shouldn't ask for ages anymore. We shouldn't do that. So we are gonna. <laughs> do you both know who's younger? Yeah. Who's Marcel's younger? Marcel's younger, man. Marcel. I am. Marcel, you have the choice between the the two and the eagle. If you win, you choose your first nation. Uh, I will choose the eagle. He chooses the eagle. Official replay cam. The winner is. What is that? The eagle! Is it? Yeah. You won. Marcel, you are officially choosing... Germany. Germany. People love Germany, huh? There it is. Thank you very much. I'll see you later and best of luck, boys. Thank you. Yeah, no, they, must be, they must be very nervous, man. I, I have so much respect for these players, man. Back to my boy Alex. Boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. And there is our man. Uh, my brother, do you have the, the mod? I do, yeah, yeah. Okay, the ID should be sent to you very shortly. Just one sec, I have to switch scenes again because nobody can see the ID. Dude, trust me, Chad, there's like five <laughs> hackers who just want to see the ID right now because they're such little pussies. Um, you have the ID or I can send it to you? Sure. Okay, I'm sending it to you. I don't I don't have the ID, but yeah. Okay. I got you, I got you. Um, three, two, one, there it is. Thank you. Is there a password? Yeah, the, the one below is the password. Oh, okay. Oh. I really hope that you and me are going to be doing this calm. I know he is a very calm guy, and uh, this is exhausting. And but oh, I can get hyped. I can get hyped. <laughs> don't you worry. When 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 he does karaoke, he he truly is very hyped. Yeah, I am okay. unstoppable at we karaoke. Are in the game. Yep, I've joined. So I just mm -hmm. do I just ready up, or do I have to join? Uh, click on I observer click on? on the top left. Observer oh. mode. Oh my god! And then press so ready, long. so you can okay, do what I'm you want. Go. Nice. So we have Marcel as Germany and Lucifer as the Soviets. Okay. And am I right in thinking that Lucifer hasn't lost a match yet? I actually don't know. I have I think Lucifer's unbeaten, yeah. I think wow. so. I should uh, research this tournament more. Both are ready, everyone is ready, gentlemen. Say goodbye to the face of Alex. It's a nice face to look at, that's for sure. And we much. are and likewise, likewise. <laughs> and we are switching scenes here. I have to put this correctly, otherwise Marconi is gonna kill me. And we are in Game number three of this tournament out of four. Lucifer versus Marcel.
The music is getting set up. Get it ready. I got Alex here. I got Chet here. I got the timer. Jesus Christ, I need a vacation after this. <laughs> Are you and, doing a great job, Tommy? Oh, bro. This is... Uh, I'm like a drug addict. I look good on the outside, but the inside? Well, they never look good on the outside, do they? I don't know. Uh, weird, but gentlemen, we are in our next game. The sword versus the spear. On Germany, we have... Marcel, representative of the non-subs. Uh, uh. And we have on Russia... Lucifer from Serbia. Marconi loves that guy from Serbia. What are your feelings right now, Alex the Rambler? Well, I think Lucifer's probably the more dangerous player with over 3,000 hours in Hoi 4. Yeah. Uh, he used to play, apparently, a lot of... was He was Masters in StarCraft 2, so he's got oh. the advantage in terms of... I think hours, perhaps skill, I don't know, how, I don't know. How do all my co-casters have all this information? How do you know that? I was sent a sheet. I've got a bit of a sheet <laughs> I've never seen here. that sheet. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Well, I, I agree here with Alex. Lucifer, lots of hours undefeated in the qualifiers. What is the build? He is eight tanks in the north. We have in the middle, we have a six plus four is ten. Uh, then we have these counter tanks for the south, the Wolf instrument. And in the south, heavy eight. This is very interesting. Eight tanks in the yeah. south, and he's showing two. He's shooting. I, uh, I like the layout, though. I like his layout. Yeah, this it looks is certainly balanced, whereas it looks like. Ooh. Well, Germany's going heavy in the north. With True. His tanks. Germany here, six in the south, two at Lvov, and very heavy in the north. Alex is completely right about that. Uh, I need to set my timer up. Timer is ready. <sighs> Chad, are you still here? What's <laughs> good? Bruh! The later it gets, the more my neighbors are going to complain. I gotta. Do you exactly complain with your, nah, with your noise? Nah, dude, I uh, when I moved here, I thought that everybody's gonna complain about me, but my neighbors are like weed smoking young people that do party nice. all the time. So nice. I'm like the I'm like the boomer in the house. I'm the one Minor that complains. Old. I'm the one that complains if trash is in the floor. Like in the lobby, there was trash, and I put the paper there. <laughs> Stop putting trash here, and Lisa. Was oh, like, you you're one of those that you boomer, told me. Man. <laughs> Not every day you wake up and there's a fucking tissue on the floor. We're all living here together. Get your shit together, I've... zoomers. It's all old people in my complex. Like my girlfriend and I That's were good. the two only young people in the whole thing, and uh, they, um, I, I've been asked like, who am I and where am I going? I'm like, I'm going to where I live, and they're like, what number do you live at? I'm like, shut what, what, oh, what? Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. here, it's yours. That's old people. Old what? people are like god dogs. <laughs> Everything yep. is clean, but you can't fuck with them. Are we just waiting for them to go? Yes. In a second, the oh. goal will start. I will do the counter 30 minutes, and then we see what happens. In our game number three. Game number three today oh. after this we have Grisha, the 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 silent star oh. of this tournament against Nafe. Gentlemen, we're in the game. I think both me and Alex are gonna approach this one a bit more chill. Not gonna scream Maybe. so much. Oh you never know, there might be a bit of screaming on my end. I I, I get I, I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. From time to time. But I I'm looking forward to seeing what Lucifer does, the spear against the shield of Marcel. And we see it first, the standard open push in the, in the north. north. Yep. Which Germany is always ready for. That's why the Germans are behind. So far, the only move. very, very, very chill attack here. Not he going might be too luring much. them in, the Germany player, uh, Marcel. Might be luring him in. Exactly. Because his tanks aren't moving yet. That's what the Germany player always tries here. The, the Russians are coming in, and then there are the Germans. But I think Lucifer is experienced enough. He knows exactly what's waiting for him here in yeah. the forest of the north. Nothing in the south. Uh, oh, no, there is a little bit of an attack in the south. There's still a buff attack. Very awkward position to attack that mountain that would yeah. not really lead to any encirclements. Very interesting oh, choice. Oh, oh, Sorry, already. there's already been a Germany encirclement in the north. Already? And it looks like it's going to be closed and four infantry units are out for the count. Yep, four infantry units gone in the first minute of this match. That was well done. The the What's so dangerous about this north push is that if Germany doesn't micro his infantry and pulls them back, he might get struck And already we see the first dead infantry divisions for Germany here. Right now a face of zero attacks. Uh, one in the north, but very chill game right now. Yeah. Which I like. I <laughs> probably just a little bit of probing going on before... I think Lucifer must be planning a massive attack at some point. I reckon he's probably got the skill to really micro his tanks. If he hasn't lost a game yet, 
Uh, Marcel looks like he is doing the shield tactic. I'm looking forward to seeing what he does with his tanks when he actually moves them. Exactly. The question is going to remain: When is Marcel going to move these tanks and try something? I like how he made his tanks yellow. A lot of players are changing their tanks into certain colors so their brain um, responds better to these colors and these tank divisions. That's a good idea. Yeah, Lucifer has not. Oh no, he has. He's made his red, but where his country yes. is also red. I think that blends in a bit. Yeah. Too much. No attacks at the moment. This game might nope. uh, some jazz music. No, nothing. Uh, something in the north now here. Get the jazz going. Have a cup of tea. Chill out. <laughs> Grab a cookie. I like if they play chill. We now see the self attack. The attack we always talk about. Russia looking for some easy kill, but instantly here the reaction from Germany sending down four tanks for the south oh, yeah. to face these four tanks. This is some high level meta. He is not giving that away for free. Ooh. It doesn't look... No, the tanks have stopped again in the south. He's always... It seems like he's always anticipating his enemy's move and then wants to surprise him. Like a boa constrictor in the bushes. Hada! Suddenly it's there. <laughs> oh, I love you, Tommy, so much. I love you too. I, I'm so sad we couldn't see each other 2020 men. Same. Same. Maybe by the end of this year, we'll all be vaccinated and we can hang out, have a hug, Hopefully have like dinner the... again. Yeah. That was one of my favorite memories of Paradox Con. I was just going That to was dinner. great, yeah. Uh, are you in Canada right now or UK? I never know with I'm you. I'm in Canada. I've been Vancouver, in Canada since right? December. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's currently cloudy, which is pretty normal. Huh. The weather here is just like the UK. <laughs> Talking about rain the year. weather? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, <laughs> that's all well. good. The game is not uh, that crazy yet. This might be a series uh, where we uh, have one hour 30. Uh, well, we have another bit of a push in the north, but it's, it's, it's really... Uh, Marcel is an extremely defensive player so far. He hasn't That's tried to true. counter any of the Soviet's attacks. Yes, the most defensive player I've seen yet. Not a single move, just reactive. I mean, it, it sounds awkward, I, but something I will do for Lucifer here. You killed four infantry. Just just don't do anything for 20 minutes. If you play for $2,500, just do nothing and wait for him to come on you. You are four points ahead, right? In the end, true. Marcel has to make a move at one point. It looks like he is in the center. He's got a. He might be trying to go for an ins a massive insert. That would be very, very dangerous. Oh no, they stopped. Never mind. Yes, very equal, very proby, <laughs> very chill. I'm actually thinking of putting the music to some chill, the Shire music here. Oh, but... it does look like. Yep, okay. So we have oh. Lucifer is pushing in the south. Yes, this could be. And the center. Future. Yep. Ah, two tanks uh, now supporting it in Iyazi. I'm learning so much about new uh, cities here. I did all these cities, I never heard of them. Who the hell lives in Iyazi? Say me in the chat, please, if you live there. And the encirclement is not happening. Nope, nothing. No, just a bit of a stalemate. Man, a what lot of people in chat from Iyazi. Beautiful. What Marcel might be doing is just trying to lure him and stretch his line a bit more time and time again, and then unleash himself upon Lucifer. He's always pushing these mountains in the middle. You have big debuffs in the mountains. Take actually look at the debuff. Minus 50% to all your mathematics if you attack a mountain with a tank. Uh, a bit of an awkward approach here by him. We will see. Ah, and he's trying to push in the north too. Just a smidge. These almost seem like diversionary attacks. Kind of probing attacks. Seeing yeah. where the Soviet is a little bit weaker. But it seems like he's slowly activating now. His tanks are starting to become active. He, he, almost like he slowly becomes impatient of this the stalemate slow game, and now we see him do his first moves. Compared to the previous rounds, uh, which were just hyper-intense micro, this does seem very chilled. I, I think they're, they're probably going to go... Mm, I'd say they're using this first match to test each other, because this is the first time either player has played against each other, I believe, right? I actually don't know. I actually oh. don't know. I mean, you have the of shield. <laughs> yeah, I've got the shield. <laughs> <laughs> well, this guy, this could just be the calm before the storm, because at one point these people have to get aggressive with each other. That's what I love about the timer. Once again, the timer tells you, "Oh, I have five minutes left. I'm behind in points. You have to start doing something." In the north, looks like something starting to happen here. The Soviets are going for a massive push. They're snacking a little bit. But so many German tanks everywhere. Every single tire has yep. two German tanks in it. Looks like the Soviet's going to wow. get pushed back. Oh, no, no. Still going. He's still going. Germany wow, is okay. truly making Russia work for every single ounce of a kill. 
but so far still Russia ahead just by four points for infantry. Yep, only four losses. And it looks like Germany is making a bit of a move once again into the mountains and a little bit into the plains in the center. Looks yes, like he's doing a bit of a counter oh. in the center, pushing up as well. I think I just saw Germany pushed in the center with two tanks and immediately returned to two tanks, like getting scared of something. There was nothing oh. threatening him. He just retreated because he... But that was truly a, a defensive move there. But all across the line, they're still probing attacks. Like, uh, Germany has also moved up in the south a little bit with his two tanks there. Uh, in y Yazi. Nope. The attack failed again. Okay. Well. Ah, oh, in the... Look, look up in the north now, Tom. Yeah, yeah, this could be north. something. I like that this game is chill right now. This is really helping me regain energy. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah you're, looks... you're, you're an absolute tank, Tommy. You've been going for hours already. You've still got hours to go. Well, I sacrifice uh, the hair at the back of my head for all this energy. Hey, man. Hoi 4 is costing me my whole hairline. So we're, we're... <laughs> <laughs> uh, south? Sunny stuff, stuff happening? Whew. Oh, my God. That could be an encircle. Oh, if Germany, Germany has the green bubble. This... But so many Russian tanks ready to counter. We see the micro now by Russia moving all this infantry. Beautiful it's micro, and there's it. Yeah, but seven Soviet infantry have been inserted. Seven now. infantry. This is uh, Marcel equaling the points, even going ahead in points now. And he just yep. killed seven Russian infantry. This is but a very slow game. And I Marcel don't think just Lucifer's trying to save them. Lucifer isn't trying to save them. Yeah, he's not going to try to save. There is a uh, force involved. Tanks ever. And a river. Stepping. Oh! Infantry was overrun in the north as well. Oh. I saw a German tanks overran a couple of Soviet divisions up in the north. Yes, he's down to infantry. Not talking about the ones that die in the south now. And there it yep. goes. Marcel takes the lead in points with 21 minutes left. Left. Man, I really enjoy that this is chill right now. Beautiful. This, the north is, is, is all, everything is happening in the north. And in the center as well. It's just the south which is quiet once again, yes, which has been the case a, for a lot of these matches. If you would make a statistic at the end of this tournament, it's like 80% of the action is in the north and the center. Yep. The south just seems unattractive to people a lot. I think it's the amount that it's away from the capture point, such as Berlin. Yes. Um, so it's less attractive, but it can be great for encirclements. You also, and especially on the large plains around Romania. Uh, especially if, if Russia moves in the south, he makes his front line bigger, which could be an advantage or disadvantage. There's also a lot of rivers. There's the mountains of... Uh, what is that? The Carpathias or something? I don't know. Don't... The Carpathian mountains? Yes, I think so. I guess so, and they're obviously very unattractive for Russian tanks. But currently, um, Marcel has a four-division advantage in infantry now. That's it. That's all that's separating the two players. So he was down four points. Now he's up four points. Yep. Very proby proby. And Marcel is actually going on the attack, which for the for the shield player, I'm a bit surprised at. But I think if he senses weakness from Lucifer, then then all power to him. Well, looking, this seems to be the hardest game to look for a weakness because nobody is showing any weakness. They're always so protective about the units, so defensive. This might be another timer game in the end. What side is your chat on? Are they going for Team Lucifer? It looks like it. I see a lot of Marcel in the chat. Oh. TBH. Because he's representing non subs and non subs, you know. Ah. Monkeys always support monkeys. I see. Yeah. This it's is just it's just it's just chill. constant to and fro. It looks like Germany's regaining a little bit of the lost ground from the start of the match, but it really is just to and fro. Looks like in the center the Soviets are starting to struggle here. Yes. I love the micro by Lucifer. Every time there's infantry about to be encircled, he retreats them very nicely. Yep. This reminds me, I always like to compare uh, Hoi 4 esports with uh, StarCraft. I used to like a lot of StarCraft. Oh, that's a big one. Mm. That's 10 infantry. Oh, and another 10 infantry. Wow. Okay. If Lucifer keeps taking these losses, he might be in a little bit of trouble for holding yes. his So line. far, no, no, no tanks for Lucifer. Uh, yeah, this, nope. this, this reminds me always of a StarCraft game where people make expansions quick and they always just probe each other. No one really over in, in, invests. Wow. Okay. In, uh, Marcel now has 10. a 16 infantry lead. Oh yeah, 100 infantry death for Russia. He's up 16 points. Marcel up 16 points. 
The time is against Lucifer at the moment, but 18 minutes, a lot can yeah. happen. All tanks are still active. This infantry can mean nothing in the grand scale of things here. All of the tanks for Lucifer are concentrated in the north and in the center. And I think that that's the case for Germany too. Yep. Yep. Both players have got all of their tanks concentrated. But it looks like... Dude, nothing in the south. Uh, yeah. Marcel is snacking some tanks down to the south, so he might be going for an attack down there. Is he moving tanks? Yeah, we can see it. But true, there's no more tanks in the far south. People nope. really do not care about that position. Wow. Yeah, yeah, okay. I truly this is still believe. Heat up coming. It's yes, heat I was just up. about to say the same. I feel like this is just a con for the storm, and the storm is gonna hit heavy. I was actually in the storm today, no joke, with uh, in my home city, and me and my mom saw a tree fall over. It it fell into the the lines of the tram. Is everyone and, okay? Yeah, everyone was okay, but there was one parked car that took damage, and I felt like, man, if that would have hit me, I couldn't have gone home for the international. <laughs> but I just want to say, storms are a scary thing, chat. Beware of storms. And we're about to see one right here. Looks like Germany might be on a bit of a defensive again. It looks like Lucifer's finally unleashing his spear, thrusting across the north and the center all <laughs> in one go. I like how everyone I is doing these great metaphors, man. I love a good thrust. <laughs> oh, no. oh, wow. Okay, that's this is an exciting spot right by... Yes, in the middle? Sedelci? Still there? Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Some Polish town. Yeah. But once again, no one's recommend. In the end, they're just... I think if I would have been in this tournament, if I was younger, I would play like this. Very defensive, looking for mistakes of the enemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The and, problem with defensive yeah. players, especially for myself, I get impatient. And then if I get impatient, that's exactly. when I make mistakes. So hopefully Marcel doesn't fall into my trap. Exactly. Of just... Getting impatient, going on frustratingly, uh, just just going all out in an attack and then getting absolutely crushed. And these players are very young there. They don't have the experience of old men like me and Alex uh, and the patience of it. Uh, we, our generation, we know what it meant when a porn video had to buffer 10, 10 oh. hours oh. on AOL.com. These young kids, they don't know that. And that's why Marcel is taking two tank kills here, opening the game up in Allenstein. Only getting those 30 second Whoa. previews for me. Do you remember that? Oh, yes. Oh, Disgusting. Man. I remember. Two tanks. <laughs> Two tanks against are gone, Russia. Either. This is starting wow. to look more and more good for Marcel. The two tanks are it gone. And then, oh, oh, the oh, oh, Soviet shit. tanks have now been encircled as well. And he cannot and he's save closing it. closing the encircled. There's nothing oh, to save my them. God. They are too tired and circled. Ay, ay, ay. And the storm is finally upon us, Chet. And it is a thunderstorm. A storm that Russian tanks don't like so and, much. Oh, some uh, uh, German infantry were just overrun by exactly the Exactly, east of it, yes. Is yep. he saving it? Ooh. I don't think he's nah, going to be able to. 91, 95, no, it's gone. Four tanks gone. There we go. 26 tanks Ooh. remain for Lucifer. He's got an uphill battle now for the rest the of the game. The half the game is exactly over now. 15 minutes are played. And... Marcel is looking to be on the stronger branch here. The stronger branch? What? Where does this come from? <laughs> I am surprised. I thought Lucifer was, was the uh, the uh, the stronger player here, but you well, know, it's just game one. Exactly. There are two more games, and it's not over yet. Anything can happen. And he's facing the ultimate defense here of Marcel, which seems to work at the moment. The counters yep. are beautiful. He looks for the mistakes. Very patient player here in Marcel. Normally, non-subs are not known to be patient, but he is making a good deed for all the non-subs in chat today. And that's what Marcel set out to do, right? He was a memer, but now he wants to be taken seriously in the Hearts of Iron multiplayer community. And this is his chance. And, and this is his chance. Yeah. Exactly. And it's looking good for him at the moment. The time is on the side. 14 minutes. He wins game number one in this so far slowest game in the tournament, which is totally legit, though. I, I, I like, I'm a big uh, MMA fan of the UFC, and oftentimes you will see two MMA fighters fight, and they're very passive. They don't punch each other, they feel each other out. And oftentimes the crowd starts booing. Some of the commentators say, oh, there's no action here. I mean, these people are fighting for their lives. These people are yep. fighting for their tournament life. They have all and the I, right in the world to take this very passively and very defensively. And I really felt that way watching Tommy K and Logan Paul. I mean, KSI and Logan Paul, not Tommy K. I would love to see you fight, try and fight Logan Paul. Oh, he was. That was a joke, by the way. But, but, yeah. You can take out anyone, Tommy. You're a... You're, you're a oh, gosh. You're such a man. 
Dude, so far, this international has a lot of homoerotic tension with me and the co-casters, um, which I like very much. Yeah. I like very, very much. I can appreciate a good-looking man. I'm not gay, but if I if I was, Tommy would be one of those men that I would go after. What the fuck's happening today? Well, I love Alex. I'm just, I'm just Dude, expressing the my feelings. You can always you. say in life, if you will marry my sister, I will approve. That's what I said oh. to, to Dave, to you. There's only one caster. The, the caster of game number four today, chat, that I would not give my sister. That guy? Mm -mm -mm. No? But the caster number four is not a four caster. He comes from oh. a very ugly game called Rainbow Six Siege. Nobody plays that. It's it's gonna be weird. <laughs> um, you're into magic, right, Tommy? I'm also, yes. I've also been getting into magic recently. I started buying some magic packs. In real life or no. in the game? Uh, real life. Oh. It's dangerous. It's addicting. Just you, like Hearts of Iron multiplayer, yeah. apparently. No, I, I, like, I, I'm into Pokemon, and now I've started collecting the magic for gathering cards as well. TCGs I, are taking over my life. I never bu buy real-life cards because I feel like I, n I, I hate humans and I have no friends, so I'm never going <laughs> to use them in real life anyway. Oh, okay. Like, I will I never like play to, with anyone. I like the artwork, so I'm more of a collector. That's, yeah. I, the I, I collect <laughs> digital cards. I have a lot of magic cards mm. digitally. It's kind of sad. Has anything else happened in the past couple of minutes? I think it's just, once again, the probing attacks, but Germany is going on the offensive. Yeah, he's, uh, a bit he's, more. he's building a little bulge here in the middle west of the swamps. Yep. But other than that, not much happened. The time is on his side. 11 minutes 46 left. And he has a six tank advantage at the moment. S six tank. Wow, that... True, six tanks. That is that is not a small one anymore. No, but it does give a bit, him a bit more flexibility. But in the north, oh. you can see that Lucifer's oh, yeah, coming north, out. North, north, north. Yep, is, yep, yep, yep. This could be it. This, this is dangerous, though. Lucifer's this is the dankest counter. thing. He's... Oh... Oh, you see, that is a, that oh. is a big mistake. Two tanks unprotected snowballing, uh, yep. going in, snaking, and now they're unprotected and alone. It's only yep. German infantry keeping them at bay. But if Germany plays this right, two tanks could die. He might save himself here. The red bubble's on his side. We saw some infantry die next to it. And there's reinforcement the right in the out. final moment. One infantry division saving the encirclement in the final second makes it green. The two German tanks arrive oh. and kill two, two tanks. That infantry division Ow. deserves a medal. And another Great. two tanks down. Marcel just slowly and steadily taking this game. Yep, 24 tanks remain on Lucifer's side. Whereas Marcel still has his complete 32. He hasn't lost a tank in the, this match, which is going to be on for 20 minutes now. Looks like I'm gonna have a long night after all, but hey, <laughs> with great company, I can do this. I have to, I mean, soon I have to be at center. I have to be a bit more quiet. Let's see I what happens. You thought? I thought you were doing this all, uh, just the whole tournament in one day, but I, nah, I, I think you're wise nah. to split it over two. Yeah, they wanted to do 16 players first. I mean, also, I always felt like, you know, you can't do too much of these games because after a while, I think they get boring for the viewer. Yep. I think that uh, eight players is totally perfect. Yeah. Were you in touch with the mod developer? To yes, a lot. For yes. Your I had to ask tournament? him to make this a bit more toss. The Germany had a, a uh, swastika okay. and stuff. Oh, gotcha. And Königsberg and Circument happening once again. Two yep. infantry, one tank taken. Marcel is just slowly wanting away with the game. Marcel is like, you know, when you steal something and you, you start walking slowly first, you, you feel like the, the guy you steal from doesn't notice. And the more you get away, yeah. the faster you run. This is how myself yep. feels here. Another exactly. two tanks in the middle. Yep. I. It's still possible for but, oh, look at the middle to come then. back look from at this. The middle, it is going to be very tough. What's in the middle? I just saved it. There was four tanks in the circle, and he just saved them with two of his own. Well done. Wow. Marcel's showing an unbelievable defense here. He might represent the ultimate defense. He might represent his name, the shield. Aye, aye, aye. The shield that stands in defense of memers everywhere. <laughs> and nine minutes are left. The points are looking very, very good for Marcel here. We're getting slowly into the time phase here with eight minutes 50 left, where Lucifer has to start being aggressive. He has to look for these encirclements to keep up in points. Every time he has been aggressive in this match, though, he's always ended up losing units. So it's, it's tricky for him, and especially now where he's got... Oof. He's, he's nine tanks uh, behind nine Germany tanks. and Lucifer. Yeah. It, it's getting more and more, and it starts to really hurt. Let's Down see. Down to 85 infantry. 
85. This is happening quicker than I mm. and I and then I see it. But yeah, the points are heavily in favor of Marcel, you know. Let's actually take a look, chat here at Sweden. 113 infantry for Germany against 85. Looking very good for Germany. And 30 German tanks against 21 Russian tanks. If we're honest, this is looking just great for Germany at this point. Yep. I agree. I agree. I think that if uh, Lucifer gets a few more tanks encircled, then he might just have to call it GG for this match and try and bring it back in the second. Exactly. Let's see if we can make anything happen in the north. We see pushes by Russian tanks. They just always get countered. This must be very frustrating for Lucifer. Every time he sees an opening, every time he sees an opportunity, he goes for it. It gets countered. The German tanks are there. Yep. Yep. Marcel, I, 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 I doff my hat to you. You are a fantastic defensive player, Marcel. If you watch this back, I think you'll be very He's pleased with how you well played here. in this match. I like that tag. I can't wait to see his defensive play maybe in the future against uh, an aggressive player that we thought uh, Lucifer's going to be. But as Alex said, this is game number one. They're testing each other out. They're feeling each other out. Uh, second base never happens on the first date. And we're going to see on the second game what's going to happen Ooh. there. <laughs> Sorry, the date thing really got me. <laughs> <laughs> the metaphor is on point, man. This is already better. You spots, dude. Watch these East. Watch, watch East Elm stuff. They have no jokes. Oh, it looks like it. Look at the uh, look at the position in the in the center now. The yeah, Germans it's are looking just great on for through. Germany. There might be huge resentment here with three tanks involved. That where did these three tanks go? They just teleported two tiles away, and they have been saved. The time six minutes thirty. <clears throat> like. Marcel's already on the third date here, Tommy. He, he's going for it. He's going for the <laughs> going for the final countdown. <laughs> he is uh, truly on the final countdown of six minutes twenty-two, and he's looking to pack in his bags game number one. The game has been paused. It has oh. been GG'd by Lucifer. GG. There the we go. GG has been called. Marcel Ladies. took Lucifer down to Pound Town. And gentlemen, it seems like oh, I just switched scenes. That, there he is. Game number one has been Over. called. Boom, 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 boom. That is not how I thought that was going to go, but I am, I am, I, oh man, I'm ready for round two already. This, this was excellent. It started off slow, but man, it picked up quickly. What, that's how, and that's, and that's how you've got to be as a lover as well. You've got to start slow, <laughs> work yourself up into a good rhythm, and then go for the full pound pound. <laughs> Uh, what I like about this game, it shows that this isn't this, this, and I mean this, this tournament has a legit reason to exist. This is not, there, there is not only one meta, there's very different metas. We just saw a very defensive game that in the end led to defensive player winning by good defensive decisions. There's a meta yep. in this tournament. This is legit esports. This is not yep. a fluke. This is not a joke. This is real. Players have been practicing strategies for weeks and it... <sighs> It's actually fantastic That's to true. see uh, Hearts of Iron, a high quality multiplayer Hearts of Iron. I didn't think it was possible in a tournament basis to, to actually do this kind of yes. thing. But once, once again, you and your community have proved me wrong. And I am Thank loving you, man. it. It makes me very Absolutely proud. Loving it. Thank you, man. It makes me so proud that we reached this. Impo Dude, communities build everything. Without the community, this wouldn't be possible. The, 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 the prize pool. This is all the work of this amazing community, man. And look how far we've gotten, Chad. It, it, it's crazy. Uh, I remember uh, I was a nobody with 10 viewers. And this man next to me, Alex Remba, I'll never forget. He donated $20 to me so I can buy Stellaris, man. I'll never forget that stuff. And we've all come here together building up this, this Paradox community. It, it means it's so beautiful man so beautiful i've been thinking a lot recently when i've been driving around at seeing yours and marconi's success over the over the past three years and it's been fantastic to see like you're just going from strength to strength uh you, you've got a fantastic team behind you and like it's it's amazing to see it honestly is it's, it's this is seeing you go from like 10 viewers to now your regular like two three thousand viewers it's just amazing. Like so, congratulations. Thank to, you, man. To you I swear, it means yeah. it means a lot coming from you, man. But, but hey, without you guys, this will never be possible. It, it is. It was great to meet you, man. I learned a lot from you guys, uh, gentlemen. We're going to, we're going to a short little commercial break, gentlemen. Oh. Meaning, I have to turn the music off, gentlemen. Uh, are you ready for some commercials? See you. I know I am. See you in a second, boys. <laughs> Come, my son. Come here. Let me tell you a story. 
The story of America. Not long ago, our forefathers fought a great tyrannical evil. The king from a sea far away and a white castle thought he could enforce his will upon the free men of America. After the war, in a humiliating defeat, he reconsidered. You see, our people are those of freedom-loving individuals who do quite enjoy spending family time at Applebee's, though, uh, when our love of Applebee's is seen as a weakness, many of the world's would-be tyrants will spring into action. A great man from the future appears to have shared great sympathy to our cause. He reveals our future where Applebee's is a failed food chain that caters to old ladies who just got back from going to church. The soul of the nation has truly been crushed in this dark timeline. Our darkest hour, if you will. Upon hearing of this revelation, General Lee, Stonewall, and Westernson decided to hear this crazy scientist out. Our situation was tenable at best, so you must understand. We had no choice. The mysterious Lord of Time has brought with him the horrors of war, marvelous machines, pure unadulterated evil that drive this mercenary horde from our establishments once and for all. And but right, I don't know. I can't watch these commercials. Oh. Too much happening. But man, these commercials are insane. Yeah, they, they're great. They truly are insane. <laughs> they're amazing. There's Alex. Oh, um, let me set everything up. There's so much going on. Ba ba ba. Music. Bam bam. And yeah, let me just check with my directors. We are actually ready to go to game number two. I'm pretty sure. I think we are. Yeah. Yes, we are actually ready for game number two. Let's not stand on <gasps> ceremony here. Oh yes, I'm a great Bane intimidator. Intimidator. <laughs> Uh, uh, I can't do Bane. I Im imitator. There you go. I, uh, I, there's a there's a character from a, a show in the UK called Only Fools and Horses, and I can do quite a good Boise impression, but I don't think that you know uh, I have no idea what, what that about, show no. is. No, no. You can make a very mind. good impression of a sexy man, though. Gentlemen. Well, I, I don't. I, I'm not doing an impression. I am just a sexy man. You know? <laughs> This is the home erotic experience with Tommy Kane Likes Ramble. Welcome to game number two of this mystery series. We're jumping right into this game. Gentlemen, game number two. Mm -hmm. We uh, and... Lucifer's taking a short break. Okay. He's having a smoke break. Okay. Okay. He's having a short smoke break. I think he needs one after that. Get his morale back after that uh, <sighs> unexpected. Yeah, these guys are under a lot of pressure. I'm gonna just take the moment here to really quick get a drink, I guess. If he smokes here, everything's set up, yeah. I never in my entire streaming career had this much pressure. Like, everything wanted to write. Because these the, these directors behind the scenes, they have done such a good job. I don't want to um, um, uh, 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 disappoint them. Disappoint them. I don't think you're disappointing anyone, Tommy. I think everyone's thinking you're doing a fantastic job, because you are. Thank you, man. Guys, I'm getting a drink real quick. I'll see you in two minutes and then restart this. Am I muted? Or am I am I still D Tommy? Alright. Well let me tell you a story if I'm um if I'm still live. I think I'm st yeah, I don't think I'm muted. Alright, so let me tell you a story about uh how I got flipped off the other day. Uh so I was driving down a road, right? Uh, just minding my own business, and then someone uh, comes up to the road that's and tries to join the road, but they don't. They don't come to a stop at the intersection. They just decide to like bomb themselves into me. A drink. And and I'm like, what are you doing? So I have to emergency brake and then like swerve out of the way. So I stare at them as if to be like, what are you doing, idiot? Keep on driving home, and then <laughs> and then once I get there, uh, they, the passenger leans out the car and starts swearing at me. I'm like, what the fuck? idiot honestly drivers in the lower mainland of british columbia are terrible 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 drivers anyway you left me tommy so i had to do a story hey, time oh, about good. it that seems to be a road rage story yeah well i wasn't i like well they almost crashed into me so I, I was annoyed but they're the ones that thought that i was in the wrong even though they were in the wrong started swearing at me wankers <laughs> wankers <laughs> gentlemen we are in game number two if the, uh, what did the loser choose? Let's take a look. Lucifer Germany now. Lucifer Germany. Um, yep. I have to do this here, otherwise they get mad at me. Wait. 
Yep. Marcel as the Soviets, Ooh. Lucifer as Germany. So Lucifer has to win this one to stay in the tournament. We're going to have a little music I change here. And, and I believe Marcel is more comfortable oh, as started? Germany. Let me check my uh, cheat sheet. Yeah, and we are all ready in the game quickly. Uh, the timer. Oh, the timer. The timer. The timer. Yes. Timer's up. Dude, this is so yep. much. Okay, it's, it's like 50 seconds less, huh? Okay, gentlemen, so, welcome back to the game. Already a huge push by Lucifer. What the fuck is happening? I'm not even ready for this. Great. We haven't seen a massive push in the south before, at least uh, in the rounds that I've seen. And he's already encircled 11 Soviet infantry divisions. Wow. This has kicked off to an insane start. Oh my god. Well, the story of Kingdom That's incredible. One was the shield. It seems that the spear, Lucifer on Germany, is now showing what he's capable of. And he's just rushing down the south, killing 12 infantry. I wasn't yep. ready. 15 infantry. Excuse me. His, his cigarette break appears to have powered him. Like, he is just thrusting forward. Oh, whoa, whoa. I like to change the music. It looks... I, I, I think that uh, Marcel has got enough tanks down there to prevent any more pushes, but that was a surprise assault right from the off. That was wow. a big okay, surprise. Was uh, I almost missed it. Uh, Russia, Marcel now bringing a lot of tanks to the south. He's going to kind of go ahead any of this. And once again, they're proving that there is a meta to this one-on-one -on -one here. No battles in the north this time. This is a south battle. I love how diverse all these games are. I love that. Don't smoke. Whatever he smoked, it made him, it made, <laughs> it made him aggressive. Yeah. I gave, gave him pep, the, 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 little, the little peppiness he needed. And his attacks are still going, although they appear to be. It look, yeah, okay. Yeah, now the Russians. I think Lucifer has this contained now. Eggs. But being down 15 divisions <sighs> oh, oh. in the first two minutes of the match is uh, is tough. The Russians still now with, uh, with something scarier. A lot of German tanks mm -hmm. are at the scene, but they're unorganized. And these Russians. If 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 Lucifer now could just use his tanks in the center in the north. To push forward, yes, then but this, this, I've had a lot oh, of pressure. The moment you said that, I was looking out. at his tanks in the north. He is now retreating all his north tanks to the south, the Russian player, that is. And th the German player, like he smelled it, is now attacking in the north. Yep. Like he smelled the Russian tanks are leaving. Beautifully done. I am loving this. The, <laughs> the first match did seem all about probing, which you're right. I think in the first round or two of boxing, that's usually the case, isn't it, Tommy? Or in your in uh, UFC? Is that right? Mm, yes. You're, you're, the, you're, the, you're the fighter here. I'm just the, uh, the eye candy. <laughs> exactly. At the probing time is over, Lucifer realizes another game like M1, he cannot afford that. Uh, Marcel's defense seems too strong, and Lucifer needs to win here or is out of the tournament, and he's opening up a big statement and the 12th in circle divisions. But he has to pay now two in three divisions in Odessa. And the difference of points is down to 10 now. No tanks have been encircled yet. Each 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 opponent, each has their 32 units. But I think so far, Germany has been using theirs slightly better. His different attacks on different fronts is going to cause the uh, it's going to cause uh, Marcel a few more problems. But again, Marcel is the shield. <laughs> but Lucifer is showing why he has oh, the dear. name, the spear. In the south now, I, I cannot make anything out of the south situation. Who's winning? Who's losing? Who is pushing? Who? It is a it's crazy back and, back salad and forth. Mm -hmm. of attacks. Completely back and forth. And it looks like uh, Germany might be trying to thrust down self into the center from the center into the south and that's working oh, oh, oh it's working oh, oh the oh, micro here yes. nobody can pay attention and that is a dead tank for russia germany taking his first tank lucifer wow. with the and, with the kills here and the attacks are still going he is not letting up and i don't know that the Ooh. soviets have enough to have enough tanks to really stop that at the moment ow oh my god that oh, this you. Oh, Look at this, Tommy! Oh, so Look quick. at it! That was so quick. But oh, he opened wow. it. Oh, no, no. He it's opened it. It's opened. I don't know. But it's oh, getting bigger and bigger. Field. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lucifer God. just took a smoke and he realized, hey, ain't no, ain't no more of this shit, boy. And he is relentless now. Seems like the instrument is opened up, though. And yep. Marcel can defend his middle position here. Oh, my God. The Soviets might lose two tanks, though. Yep. Exactly. This might be the price you have to pay to keep this open and yep. two more tanks done. Gentlemen, this down. already looks great for Lucifer, who's making great decisions right now.
Wow. Oh my god, this match. Game number three. That, Can't wait. This is gonna... This, the Soviets really need to do something. <laughs> and they are in the south. You can see they're countering. They're oh, yeah. countering oh, yeah. the counter. Soviet is mad oh, now. Oh my god. Marcel is showing us defense is, isn't anything I do. I can also attack and he's going for it. This is a weird kind of flower of encirclement. He's going very heavy though. You see these three tanks? Totally overextended. Yep. They're overextended Come and, and, they, and the clock has been closed. Completely overextended the three tanks that just get caught now. Yes, he kills one German infantry, but these tanks, no support. No support. And another, and another two in the south have also been oh, isolated. Oh, jeez, That could Louise. be five tanks down. He's trying to save it. If Germany micros his tanks correctly here and keeps there this closed. Go. Oh, and they just got killed. Soviets are down to 27 tanks. <laughs> the Germany's only on 25. Wow, Germany's lost a surprising amount of tanks. Did it? Wait, Germany's on 25 yeah. tanks? Yeah. When did that happen? Huh? I don't know. What is this match? Well, the hour is getting late, chat. <laughs> We're all getting old. What the hell? Twen Germany's down to 25 tanks. I did not realize that. I didn't see that encirclement. I didn't see that happen. My apologies. Six German tanks died in the encirclement, chat says. Well, nonetheless, three wow. Russian tanks going down now. Which will put us to 24 versus 25. This game is actually very equal. I've been this totally is wrong. Really mm. equal. I thought this was by far going to be Lucifer's game, but this could go anywhere. And this is what makes this game so beautiful. You never know what's going to happen. This is truly... Oh! Germany's been encircled. Well, this yep. time we actually see where German tanks die in the wild, in the open. Two tanks getting encircled here in the south. The first they game are... ever here that seems to be determined in the south. They are almost neck and neck for infantry divisions too. Neck and neck for tanks. This is honestly very oh, fine. And it's only even. been oh, look six at and a half minutes. Oh, oh the counter. Too oh, risky. God. No support for the two tanks. The story of this tournament. Two tanks going out alone in the whole wild world. Oh, God. This, it, this is going to be the no game. idea of what is. <laughs> it's so chaotic. Just look at the snack from Russia. One, one Russian tank one, down. One, yep, one Russian tank two infantry could down. be The north is in peace. Here. Oh, this is oh a big one. Oh, my God. This game is going to be much quicker today. Oh, my God. Game number one. Can he do it? Oh, it looks can like... Lucifer oh, contain Jesus. this entire are we, breakout? Are we going to have to can, do this of the tournament here? This might be. It could be. They clearly watched the encirclement ad and are like, yes, that's oh, what I want. And it's closed. Oh, my it's God. It's closed. That might be the biggest encirclement of the tournament so far, but Russia trying its best to save it. I don't see where to save it yet. Uh, this is a red can. bubble. We have a retreat here on the Germans, and it's opened. Oh, my God, it's open. That doesn't mean anything yet, though. The Germans relentlessly with their attacks. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And close again. Oh, we are close again. Once again, the, the the lockdown story of Germany in this game. And you have to understand, Chet, the, oh, the longer it's close, the more the attrition, but opened again. Wow. Yeah, this is such a hard one to keep enclosed because there's so many tanks there, but they still do have the opportunity before they lose supply to I, keep on breaking out. I cannot out. imagine how, and, he how heavy this and, has to be on my And board. the Soviets still a massive encirclement on the Germans. Oh, God. I cannot imagine how heavy this must be on micro. And that is some big kills wow. for Russia here from Marcel. I... Big <laughs> kills. This looked for a second like Germany's gonna have the biggest German for tournament. And oh, look down there! Four, four yep. Russian tanks! Four? Oh <sighs> my god. Yep, there and they another go. Another tank in the north in Syotmir. Once again, wow. the story of this game. It feels like Russia is leading, but he's actually not. He just took massive losses here. Yep, yep. And now it looks like Germany has a one tank advantage, but that tank is encircled. And there's another two encircled oh German tanks. Oh, Lord. This so is a soft Soviets game here. Still have a slight advantage. So many kills. What a different game than game one. There's no more probing here. No more testing. There's only killing. 19 tanks for Russia. 17 tanks for Germany. 98 infantry versus 92. This game is completely equal still. Completely equal. Yep. This is fantastic to see. Two uh, combatants evenly matched. Wow. You know, that's how we're going to see some dead Russian infantry. Nice for the scorecard, but in the end, this has to come down by big encirclements with tanks. The time, 20 minutes left. This has only been 10 minutes. Oh my god. This is 10 it minutes. Feels like I've aged a year. What they are this? not this chilling so anymore. Intense. I wonder what was in that cigarette. Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. god damn. This must be so hardcore for them. 
Oh, Germany is hardcore extending. You see nine tanks completely snaking through. Nine tanks, though. Yeah. Oh, 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 this could be the game breaker. This could be. The nine this tanks are it. completely exposed. If that gets closed, if that gets closed by the so oh. Two Soviets just completely vanished. Two Soviet tanks. Just... Uh, they teleported oh, no, they to got the out. west. They got, they got saved. Okay. Oh, he okay. saved. The Germany saved the situation. Oh my god. That was so that... close. That was very close. <sighs> Both players must be sweating buckets right now. I, I, so would not like to feel, I would not like to feel how their underpants are doing. That, yeah. They're going to be moist. I have a lot of respect for this. I always talk a lot of shit about these kids in the community and how they're memers, but what they're showing you in this tournament truly deserves nothing but respect. And two German tanks are gonna say goodbye to the Eastern Frontline. I love this. I never thought I'd get into 44 multiplayer again, but lo and behold, Tommy K, your tournament is, oh my God. Hey, I just realized I never changed my stream title, huh? <laughs> it's just, <it's, laughs> I never changed my stream title. Dude, I'm the worst. It says uh, we're gonna start at 15 p.m. <laughs> Who cares? It uh, doesn't matter. Like Germany, it's just epicness. Alphaness in esports. Germany's just uh, lost a couple more tanks. Yes. They're down to 15 tanks. Soviets Oof. have got 19 now. They 19 have the to advantage. 15. I think Germany's just going for an all-out attack to see if he can somehow get this. This could be a big one. This this game will not go to the scorecard. We can tell you that, chat. This will nope. be decided in the next minutes. Yep. Each time the German advances, they, they, they lose and take a bit more casualties. Like they're, they're, they're just attritioning units and they can't keep that up forever. Oh my god. They really man. are stretched. What is And it looks like. Here? Look at that in the south. It's oh, the completely south, south. falling oh, apart. This is it. This yep. is the breakthrough. Yep. The Soviets are going to close that. The Soviets destroyer. are going to close it. He gets two German tanks north. This is yep. almost GG. I don't know if it's the biggest. Sound. This has to be the biggest struggle of the tournament so far. How many tanks yep. are involved in this? An instant GG called by Lucifer. Yep. yep. Marcel wow. taking the 2 0. Oh my god. I was completely wrong. Marcel coming out. The little Mima to be taken seriously. Congratulations, oh Marcel. God. That was amazing. That was amazing. One mistake and you're gone. Yep. Jeez Louise. That's all oh. it takes. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, Marcel, the representative of the non-subs, taking the game here with this unbelievable wow. encirclement in the south. Uh, does over that, 10 tanks involved, and he that takes was a fantastic the game. Match. Such a fantastic match. We were saying that, you know, the south hadn't been a focus for most of these matches, and then the entire, entire game was fought in the south here. It was wow. amazing to watch. This is uh, incredible. This. this is beautiful. The only sad thing about this is that my time with Alex is, is has been over quickly because Marcel yeah. has been doing quick work here of this game. Uh, Alex, my friend, are you in the international uh, Discord? I am. Uh, let's go to the arena and interview the guys. You see what I mean? The channel? Okay. Yep. Okay, here we go. Waiting for Alex here for a second. Hello. And Hello. There it is. Is gentlemen, we are with our winner. I think we have an interview scene for this. Oh, we have Baba Bui. Look at that. <laughs> Professional. Professional. Ladies and gentlemen, game number three. Over quickly, Marcel taking the win over Lucifer. First of all, nothing but respect to Lucifer. A man that put it all on the line. Unlucky. In the end, the shield has beaten the spirit. Nothing but respect. Show some love for our boy Lucifer. And we are here with the winner of this game. We're here with Mr. Weeaboo, with Mr. Nonsup. The man that wants to be taken serious. We're here with Marcel. Marcel, how do you feel after this quick win? Well, I'm feeling very surprised. Explain, please. I thought it would go to a third match. I really thought. But then I got lucky with two tanks that I randomly placed there that went to Odessa. And they just encircled everything. So I'm feeling pretty good, but uh, startled. That's very, very interesting. It, it really seems like that these small mistakes make such a big difference here in the game. Marcel, you just took it. You're on day, day number two. You just won, I don't know, four dollars or something. You're yeah. on day number two. We're going to find your opponent in the next game. How do you feel, other than startled, about you being in the semifinals tomorrow, my brother? Well, of course, I'm very happy. I would like to thank my friends who believed in me. Aww. And uh, one final so, question before we, uh, we go to Alex. 
I truly, truly wonder how much pressure do you guys have when you are in these games? Do you sweat? Is your heartbeat uh, uh, high? How do you feel in these games? They look really, as an observer, they look insanely crazy. So in the last game, I was really like shaking and everything, but uh, I, I drink insane amounts of water during these games to calm me down. So it's like water. Yeah, just water. Water calms you down. Yeah. It must be special Hungarian water, eh? God damn. My friend Alex. Hello. Yeah, well, congratulations to both opponents, but the, 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 the matches were both fantastic to watch. And uh, congratulations, Marcel. That was something to behold. That was the, really good. Uh, the whole match was fought in the south. Was that was that different from what you practiced? So, I've practiced something against this. So, when I first found this threat, I practiced against 7D with it, and I won. So I was like, this is really good. So we practiced until he beat me. And then I haven't played... I've played one other game that was bracket, where somebody completely snaked the south, and it ended similarly. I won. But uh, I really don't like playing against snakers. So like I like playing slow, and uh, mm. yeah. Well, I think your responses to the encirclements that you were facing was, was, was amazing. So I think congratulations and a, and a very well-deserved place in the semi-final. That was well done, yes. Very well done. Beautiful. Beautiful uh, show of the shield here. Yeah. Marcel, thank you very much. We see you tomorrow in the semifinals. What are your final words for the chat for 7,000 people? God damn it, man. Well, I would like to shout out TD Camper. He trained me. So, yeah. And Mr. Miyagi after all. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Alex, I'm going to call you again to have you um, up on the stream. Thank you very much and see you tomorrow, man. Good yeah, job. Good job. Aye, aye, aye. Gentlemen, your winner of game number three, representative of the non subs, Marcelovich Maninovich. One second, we're waiting for Alex's camera real quick here. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I need your cam. Sorry. There mistake. you go. Now, all good. And then I can switch scene. I'm getting better at this. And, gentlemen, unluckily, this was quickly um, over, man. I would have loved to have more time with my dear friend Alex here, who dressed up beautifully. Uh, Alex, what are your thoughts about the game and the meta? Just overall, what, what's going on in your brain right now? I think that the skill level of the players that I've witnessed was just amazing. Like, I, I, I could not compete with these players in this tournament. So I have the very, I've had the very easy and pleasurable job of just watching and casting. So thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, I wish all the contestants best of luck. And uh, you know what? I'm, I'm rooting for Marcel now. I'm rooting for the uh, shield. That's he's, how he's shown. Made. Yeah, he's shown what, what playing defensively and then, and then pushing out uh, when you need to, how effective that can be. And uh, yeah, congratulations to him. And thank you again for having me. It's, it's honestly fantastic. It what is you guys an honor for me, brother. It fantastic. is an honor for me. I really love that all the three games so far were so different, so versatile. Mm. I really I really love that. Uh, my friend, Alex, thank you so much for being here. It means so much, man. I swear to God. My pleasure. Uh, I hope we see each other this year or maybe next year. That would be beautiful, even though Vancouver is uh, far away now. Gentlemen, show some love to our boy Alex Rambler. He is uh, Alex Rambler on YouTube and the Rambler147? Mm. 146. 146. On I always do that. Yep. I host you wrong right. sometimes. <laughs> on okay. Twitch, I, I love watching you stream sometimes. I, I don't say anything, but you, you're so chill. I really like that. Oh, uh, it's really you. calming down. Uh, there's the link, and, boys. Uh, thank you so much, Alex. Uh, it means a lot. Thank you, man. Thank all you, my thank love you, to you, you and your community. Thank you very much. All my thank love you. to you, brother. Stay healthy. All the best. You too. Bye. Goodbye. Goddamn. I love that guy. I swear to God. Wow, gentlemen. That was a quick game. Number three. Oh lord. I want to take a little. What is this even happening? Chat, are you around? I'm not even reading chat at all. 7k viewers. I just made 400 subs. I think I just got 2,000 followers today. Jesus Christ. How are you doing, chat? Anyone here? Still 7k viewers, man. Wow. We never. We, we, we truly anticipated 4k to 5k viewers, man. Wow. By the way, we're 80 subs away from a 16-hour stream. <laughs> yeah, don't lick me. I mean, this is a 16-hour stream. Oh, boys. Boys, boys, boys. Let me take a look at my cool little sheet here. Yes, we are going to the bracket scene. Gentlemen, let's take a short little look here at the Hoi Front International. Brackets. 
And here we see Marcel taking to 2 0 over Lucifer. Unbelievable game. All the games so far crazy. I, I love this. I never I never even anticipated this would be this good. And Marcel taking his position here on day number two tomorrow on Sunday. We have to find his enemy here. 